So hi, my name is Oliver, and I'm the founder of Lido. So when I was a kid, my family and I used to have this blue and white inflatable pool thing. And my parents' favorite things to do on it was someday relax, read their books. My favorite thing to do on it was just stir them and push them off. So the thing would always get punctured. And I'll patch it up with um, punctual repair kits and super glue and whatnot. But eventually it would become unrepairable. And at that point, we'd replace it with the exact same model. So a few pool flakes later, a few years later, and a lot of plastic waste later, the line was discontinued. And at that point, I, w I went out to find an alternative. But I was unable to find the sort of product that I wanted. So I decided to design my own. So this is floating furniture. It's a luxury pool accessory. It's called a lighter. So it's ergonomically designed so you can lie on it whether you're face up or face down. The inside consists of a durable, long-lasting and punch-proof TPU inflatable core, which is also recyclable. There's then a layer of quick-dry foam for additional comfort, and everything is upholstered in outdoor performance fabrics, which is sustainable, they have a great UV fastness, they're quick-dry, and they're mold and margin resistant. And so we manufacture these in Thailand for 250 US dollars. We wholesale them to our um, hotels and selected retailers at 375 and our entry retail price starts at 750 We're currently in three hotels in Southeast Asia, and by the end of the year, we hope to expand to around 30. So we're manufacturing 200 units, and with these, we're also seeding them with key opinion leaders, such as interior designers or celebrities. We actually just seeded a product with the actress Selma Hayek, which is exciting, and then we're also investing into our branding and our content. So we plan to officially launch in June 2020 through the use of celebrity retailers along with digital and printed articles, such as interior design magazines, home magazines, fashion magazines, as well as a digital advertising campaign accompanied with generous commission schemes for the hospitality shops or for interior designers and other freelance salespeople. And so we have an opportunity to create a pool lifestyle brand. But beyond that, we really see our furniture as a proof of concept, a proof of concept that inflatables don't have to be these cheap, semi-permanent products. In fact, there exist several inflatable technologies that allow for extremely innovative inflatable products. So the best example of this is a project between the US government and the company Goodyear back in the 1950s. They essentially developed an entirely inflatable aircraft. It was made from something called drop stitch fabrics. And what these allow for is extremely rigid, high pressure inflatable structures. They can hold their air for months to years at a time and they're extremely durable and puncture-proof. And so this was the final result. And so what, what we realized is that the floating furniture was just the beginning, and we could do a lot more. So we started designing things like tables, desks, chairs, and ultimately we settled on sofas. So this is a schematic for a single sofa. Here is a prototype for a modular alternative, and this is a 3D render of what we expect the final product to look like. So what we have is a sofa that looks like functions like and feels like a traditional sofa, but it has the additional benefit of being inflatable. So what does that mean? Well, not only is it compact when it's deflated, but it's lightweight when it's inflated. You can set it with using internal or external pumps. You can set it up in a few minutes and take it down in the same amount of time, which means cheap and easy setup, as well as cheap and easy transport and cheap and easy storage. So we think that the main application is in the event furniture space. Think um, music festival seatings or trade trade shows, conventions, but also glamping and camping, uh, or furniture for boats. So a quick introduction to our team. My name is Oliver. I'm the founder. I just graduated from UCLA, double majoring in economics and Chinese. I've been working on this project for two years now, and I've been building and designing furniture since I was in my early teens. So Henk is the CEO of our manufacturing facility in Thailand, our fulfillment center in Hong Kong, and our hospitality distributor in Southeast Asia and the Middle East. Vinay Malwani has worked for several brands in the past, including the furniture brand Timothy Alton, and he's helping us with branding, business development, and sales. Malin Heston is the CEO of a PR marketing firm here in Los Angeles, and she's helping us with the, um, with the articles, with the interior home magazines, as well as seeding with uh, key opinion leaders. And finally, Steve Rice is helping us with um, establishing relationships with hotels both on the east and west coasts. So thank you very much for listening. We're Lila, and we've been blowing up since 2019. <laughs>